Hey, Richard Carlton here. I moved into my secret lair for the moment, and we're working on some new videos, some updated networking performance videos that are part of our new updated FileMaker Pro video course. Now, what's important to understand about these is that these aren't networking videos from like the networking engineer perspective, right? And we're gonna connect the connectors and all this kind of stuff. This is a high altitude set of videos that are part of the pro course that we're including that are gonna deal specifically with the things that you need to know that are relevant to the FileMaker developer so they can make sure that their databases and solutions run as fast as possible. So in this video, we're gonna kinda of jump ahead and we're gonna assume that you know the basics about networking. And I wanna tell you about a really cool tool from Apple called the Network Link Conditioner. And I have it installed over here. So it's important to understand that this link conditioner tool allows us to simulate less than ideal network conditions. So in our previous networking videos, we talked about the idea of bandwidth, flow rate, latency. Those are important terms that I would assume you already understand. If not, definitely check out our updated FileMaker Pro video course that's coming out soon. That being said, this tool called the Link Conditioner tool, in this case, happens to be a Apple-specific tool. It's a actual control panel that you install. It allows us to start to meter the network traffic to this machine. It allows us to simulate different sorts of network speed scenarios. In fact, what we can do is we can say manage profiles here and we can bring up the idea that we're going to have a certain amount of bandwidth upstream, a certain amount of bandwidth downstream, and then we get into this issue of latency and we can simulate different levels of latency, which is really cool. And so this helps us simulate the likely conditions that our FileMaker solution may see. Whether the FileMaker solution is running on a laptop or it's running on an iPad with 3G, maybe it's running all the way around the world you're going to be able to adjust these settings with this tool. Now in another video we're going to dig deeper into this tool but I'm telling you about the tool, I'm letting you know it's here and I'm going to tell you real quick how to get it. You're going to want to go to developer.apple.com then you press programs. The next thing you're going to want to do is an enroll as a developer. Now understand that you can enroll for free and not pay Apple anything and that gets you into the entry-level developer program at Apple it gives you access to Xcode, which is Apple's development software for building Mac and iOS applications. It also gives you access to download the network link conditioner. So once you go through the process of becoming a Apple developer at the free level, you're going to be able to log into developer.apple.com, press the account button at the top of the screen, and then go down to download tools. From here you can of course download Xcode, which is really important if you want to go through our training on building your own iOS apps using FileMaker. That's called the FileMaker iOS App SDK or FIAS. That's a totally different set of skills and conversation, but this is the Xcode that you would need for that. So looking down past Xcode, we see additional tools. We're going to press that right there, and then we're going to see Hardware I.O. Tools. Now, Hardware I.O. Tools is like a bundle of awesome tools from Apple that helps us do different things. The network link conditioner is inside this download. So we want to go ahead and download the latest version. Once you have it downloaded, you're going to have to pop it open and install it. Double click it. And then you're set. Now just keep in mind that once you turn on the network link conditioner, all traffic in and out of your Mac is going to be limited by whatever settings that you specified in this control panel. So don't forget to turn it off when you're done. I ran into a situation this morning where I couldn't figure out why my network traffic to my laptop was so slow. And that's because I'd been testing the link conditioner with FileMaker and I left it on. So even though I had a great network connection, the network link conditioner takes that network connection and degrades it down to a lower level. And that affects not only FileMaker, but also affects your browser and any other applications that you might be using that use network access, which is pretty much almost everything. So that's a quick overview of the network link conditioner and definitely feel free to check out learningfilemaker.com where we have updated courses coming for the FileMaker platform.